didn't see that one coming. Instead of flipping the cap on you, I put it back on me. So today's the day I'm heading out. As predicted, didn't sleep well, but hey, we got a flight to catch, so let's go. <laughs> Glad to see that the bag check-in is hell like always. Finally in Iceland. Nothing yet to see over here. Just cars and lots of buildings. We are here to rent a car. There's nobody at work. At least there's a coffee machine. Cappuccino. Well, that's nice. Self-sufficient Finnish people trying to find coffee beans too. <laughs> this is our car. How do you like the car? It's nice. It's nice. Beautiful. Beautiful car. Okay, Perfect. let's go. Okay, so the rest of the trip yesterday went just driving through Iceland. There was nothing really to show you. It was just black rocks till the end of the horizon as far as the eye can see. So nothing interesting there to show you. The most interesting part is that when we got to our destination, the views changed dramatically. Mountains, snowy mountain tops, the seaside, everything is beautiful but it was dark so couldn't show you anything then and now straight off the bat when I woke up it was raining windy nope but we knew this was coming we looked at the weather forecast and so time for plan B or plan C and I can't even actually vlog because the winds can blow up to 65 kilometers per hour right now so it's pretty windy out there and rainy and everything like that we're just gonna head out to the local I guess it's town and see what's up there Salmon and see. So we just visited Beak. We had to go to the store, pick up some snacks, maybe something for tonight that we can eat because we don't have any dinner plans or anything. And the weather is crazy. There's I there's no chance of going outside and taking any shots and probably not for the whole day I've been taking shots from the car right now and that's all I can do going outside will mean the end of my gear because this is what it looks like inside of the car when you just open the door for a second first attraction of the day that right there is Skogafoss one of the most biggest and beautiful waterfalls in Iceland now the problem is that we still have some heavy rain and heavy winds and there's a lot of people down there but we're here so why not try to take a photo well that was fun There we were, just behind that ridge, you can see the waterfall over there. That black loop you see going from down there to up there. There's stairs to a vantage point, but you gotta be pretty crazy to go up there. Those people up there, they're crazy. How'd you like the coffee? It's, it's coffee. It's, it's coffee. coffee. 
It was an Icelandic coffee. It was Italian coffee, though. It's Italian coffee. Now, Skogafoss is one of the main tourist attractions in Iceland because it's easy to get to. It's beside of the main road, and actually, not right now. We're seeing that there's a lot of tour buses coming in and out of this place. So they're coming from Reykjavik. So it's about a five hour drive if they leave at 8 a.m. 8 a. and it's 11 a.m. right now. So they're coming in and checking out Skogafoss. That is a positive and a negative side because if you want to take photos, there's a lot of people down there. But on the positive side is that it's easy to get to. The next stop is Seljafoss, another waterfall. But this is different. You can go behind the waterfall. This is a perfect destination on sunset because the sun shines straight to the waterfall and it's great taking shots behind it. But well, it's noon right now and there is no sign of sunshine or sunsets right now. So we're gonna just head in over there. Back at the hotel. Actually, we were here before, just changed a new set of clothes and headed to Black Sand Beach. I'm sorry I couldn't take you there with me. I wanted to just put the vlogging setup to rest for a while and focus on photography. And well, here I am outside again. It's cold as hell, but at least it's not raining anymore. And you must be thinking, why are you outside if you're at the hotel? Well, the scenes are like this. There's island over there, mountain tops. Just so much coolness about this place and I just want to capture it. Black Sand Beach is right over there. I was hoping to take a few shots of it with the two times extender. This is our hotel. That brown building over there is the reception and it's an L-shaped hotel and our front door is behind that corner. Just want to clarify that none of these places, none of these shots was the bucket shot. Those who don't know, one of the reasons why I'm doing this journey is the bucket shot, my bucket shot. The first one that I want to take and the first place I want to visit and see. So that's coming. Hopefully that's coming that, because I would be so disappointed if that's not coming, if that's not going to happen. So there's that. And I said there's that again. But this is it for now and sorry about the wind and everything and I'll be seeing you on the next video. What?